While I was at MMU, I did a BSc in Environmental Studies, and the placement that I got was with the social housing provider, Gen2, who were based in Sunderland. And I worked in the department which was uh, interested in trying to green up that industry in various different ways. My placement involved working alongside the transport team, alongside the environment team, to create a sustainable mode of transport that students could use. We created iCycle, which is a bike hiring scheme, open to all students, and now iCycle is fully implemented throughout the university and a sustainable business model. I did a physical geography degree while at MMU and I did my placement at the Environment Agency and the Development Control Team in Birchwood in Warrington. I took the uh, Environmental Management and Sustainable Development Masters at MMU and during that I did a placement with the Freshwater Biological Association based in Windermere in the Lake District. Um, so that involved me travelling up every, I think it was once a month, so it was a different type of placement than one that you would have, have to go to every day. At MMU I studied environmental management and I did a placement at E.ON UK, the energy company um, in the environment and corporate responsibility team based in Coventry. Involved uh, assisting uh, the environmental manager of the site in the environmental management uh, task of every day and also uh, particularly uh, being responsible of a baromediation project due to past contam contamination. My placement was based in the outskirts of Manchester, in Staley Bridge, uh, with a petrochemicals company, Total Petrochemicals. Um, it initially started as a six month placement and extended on to make the full nine months that was needed for the course. So I found a placement through the university tutor and my placement involved working for environmental team and health and education team at the GMPT. So I did various environmental projects and health and education related projects. I spent um, a lot of time working the office job and contacting stakeholders, cooperating with different teams. Also, I went outside and did side, side visits and um, well, and different projects outside in Greater Manchester. Also, we went once to, to the meeting in Scotland, in Glasgow, so which was fully paid by GMPT, which was very uh, educational, I would say. Housing like liaison, so I would go out to how you know go out to community groups that were involved in, in within the social housing in Sunderland, and I would give them a basic understanding of, of some key environmental issues and then we would chat about that and we would uh, try and find ways that they could make their uh, you know, living more, more sustainable, more environmentally friendly but also more you know, cost effective as well, which worked out. The university actually found my placement for me, um, so I didn't really do any of the arranging. I went over for a, a quick meeting before I started my placement to make sure that everything would be all right there because it was the first one that the Environment Agency had actually taken on. While I was uh, there, my general role was doing planning and flood risk, uh, making sure that new buildings weren't going to be built in ridiculous places in the floodplain and that they'd got the right um, strategies involved to make sure if a flooding occurred, it wasn't going to be too dramatic. And I also did land drainage consents, which was making sure that if people were doing work in the rivers, they had the right consent to do it. I found an advert online, so I applied online, um, and then I had to do psychometric testing and then an interview down at headquarters. I implemented an environmental management system for the team, certified to ISO 14001 standards. Um, I helped collate the data for the corporate responsibility report, and I did research into things like biofuels and carbon neutrality, um, and I also did a mini placement with the community renewables team. Absolutely, the number one benefit I got from that placement was learning to organise myself properly. Uh, so using the skills that you need in a job like that, you know, you, you need to use your diary, you need to use your, your email, which sounds a bit strange coming like from a second year, <laughs> coming into a third year, you think you would have thought of that already, but it really, really honed it in and, and got us thinking about what, how to use my time properly. And, you know, I wasn't, I, I'll admit I wasn't very good when I first went in at doing that, but by the time I came out, I would say it's the reason I, I got a first class degree. Um, at the end. The benefits to me of the placement were in particular working with in a professional environment. I'd worked casual jobs beforehand but I never worked in an environment where it's centred around the environment where there's consultants, there's academics. 
it's a real eye opener to the way things actually work in the in the business world, and it gave me good experience. So then, now that I've got offered a job there, it filled me with confidence as well that I could compete within that sector. Benefits for me, the major one was that it actually narrowed down where I wanted to be. I did geography and physical geography because I enjoyed the subject, not really with a long-term view of where I wanted to go in life, but doing my work placement in the Environment Agency, it focused me down that I enjoyed flood risk and wanted to get involved in flood risk, and in fact that I actually wanted to work back in the agency once I'd uh, finished university. Also, it was being in an office, working nine to five, which was something that I'd never done before, and, uh, and it made the transition from uh, going from university back into work life a lot easier after doing that placement year. Uh, I think it looks very good on my CV. <laughs> um, it's given me a good experience of like the real scientific world, so I got to interact with, with real scientists that collect this data every day. Um, they were, obviously, they work in a lab, so I got to go there and, and work there for a while. Um, and it gave me the experience of having to communicate my results to people, obviously the people that knew about meteorology, but I also got the chance to present it to people that didn't know. So it gave me the experience of both. Confidence. I was really shy and quiet before I started. And when I left, my manager said she had created a monster. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't have the confidence to have gone for some quite senior jobs straight out of university. And I wouldn't be where I am now if I hadn't done that and had that confidence. Um, and the skills I learned there about environmental management systems and um, reporting and communications uh, I use daily now. First of all, it did uh, bridge the gap between uh, the university and the work context. I could apply my knowledge to, uh, to in a work context, but also it uh, gave me a lot of experience. So now if tomorrow I'm going to apply for a job, I know exactly what I want to do and also I know what my capabilities uh, in a work context. The placements are extremely uh, useful in terms of uh, future career, but also uh, I've really enjoyed it. It was a great time and, uh, and I've got a much better understanding of what I'm doing at university now. I currently work for Total Petrochemicals. Um, after my placement had finished, they took me on part-time through my final year and following that, they took me full time. Um, I'm still there now. Six months after I've graduated, I've got two and a half years experience as well to put on my CV, so it's worked out well for me. It's been quite useful. Before I entered the placement, I've been a shy student without any idea how the real work uh, life looks like. Doing the placement changed my personality to, to the level that I am confident now and uh, know more what I want to achieve in the future. So at the moment I'm at Swansea University doing an MSc in Environmental Dynamics and Climate Change and the, the first thing that comes to mind that I can think of that where my placement relates to what I'm doing now is again it's the organisation factor of it. To do an MSc you need to be on top of things all the time. Coming from a placement, learning those skills that you do, that you need in a, in a professional environment, I can apply those in my MSc uh, and I'm getting great results so far. I had a wonderful time doing my placement. I'm very grateful to the Environment Agency and to the University for uh, giving me the chance to do the placement. Recommend it highly. And you also, if you're lucky enough like I was, get the chance to go to a lovely dinner because you won uh, a national award for uh, placement, my placement uh, linked with the university. Immeasurable. Um, I wouldn't do, be doing what I do now if I hadn't done my placement. Um, before I'd even sat my finals, I had a job managing an environment team at Oxford Brookes University. Um, so straight after my last exam, I moved to Oxford. Um, uh, and I'm basically doing what I did on my placement, but on a grander scale now. I'm currently Environmental Sustainability Manager at the University of Manchester, and my job's amazing. I can't believe I get paid to do what I love. Um, and they sponsor me to do an MSc in Environmental Governance as well. Um, and also at E.ON, I, they pay me to do my AEMA exams as well, so I got professional qualifications for my placement as well. Just that I think it's a very good idea, it's good for your CV, it helps you get experience that, that might be hard to get otherwise. Um, it's a good time to do it whilst you're studying, you know, in case you have to get a proper job, you know, the rest of the time. Don't hesitate, do it. Apply for anything you see, even if I was moving away. I've never been to Coventry before in my life, didn't know anyone, and you don't have that university community where you've got ready-made friends so it's terrifying but um, it's the best thing I ever did go for it
it's really benefited me and I can't recommend it enough. If I was to give any advice to a future student, I would say definitely take the placement. It's invaluable experience that you won't get anywhere else.